<laughs> Not even seven o'clock yet. Diddle of ditch. How's everybody doing? Uh, you're watching footage from yesterday, and uh, this is by far probably the only set that went, let's say, well uh, in this given day. Uh, so a number of things could have contributed to this. Uh, number number one, I also haven't deadlifted in quite a long time. Uh, I just actually recently started deadlifting. I did do it last week. But um, before then, uh, it was quite a long time. So uh, another thing was we trained this given day at like like 7:30 in the morning. It, it was I was quite quite tired, uh, even with the, the pre-workout. Uh, by the way, 20% off description. I'm sorry, 20% off discount code in the description box. Um, if you're interested, that helps me and the company, by the way. <clears throat> anyway, uh, sorry, let me drink some water. Um, you're gonna notice here, uh, watch my hips especially, because they shoot up before I get the initial pull off the ground. Um, and it's very slight, you have to watch very, very closely. And um, this kind of hindered my performance, you saw it right there, with the little butt wink, and then my hip shot up and the bar came off the ground. <clears throat> so uh, what's that, I'm sorry, what that's telling me is that um, I'm not pushing my feet hard enough into the ground and I'm not set all the way back where my shoulders are kind of over the bar. Um, and they can be in line with the bar, but here you can see again if you watch closely and you can pause the video and rewind it if you like, that the initial pull, my, my shoulders are they're probably in line with the bar, and at least the way that I like to pull it anyway is to almost sit all the way back into the bar and then push my feet as hard as I can to the ground. So the initial pull is, uh, let's say, 98% quad and uh, oh, a little bit of back. So it's pretty much all, what I want to say is it's all quad up until I get the bar off the ground. And then uh, my back starts giving me a little bit of help to finish the movement. And then the follow through with the hips and squeeze the legs. So, um, this was quite a long set. I spent about four and a half minutes just staring at the bar. Just staring. And I did not want to move. So. Um. Is she gross? <laughs> she's just, I don't mean to be an asshole, but like, if I was a dude, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, the three of us only know what we were talking about, and um, I don't know, just a little, I don't know, it's funny, just, never mind, I just figured I'd leave that in for uh, Will and Allie to watch later on, so, um, anyway, uh, like I was saying, this was quite a long uh, break in between this set. Um, it was probably five, maybe even seven minutes long. But um, anyway, you're gonna you're gonna see uh, later in the clips anyway that I'm probably gonna wind up lowering my training max for my deadlift, but uh, most likely only my deadlift. And uh, I'm probably gonna drop it, or I might just keep it the same. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm gonna make that full decision uh, depending on what my deload looks like. In, uh, I'll make the decision from there, but pretty much I think the decision is going to be to either drop it at least 10 pounds or uh, keep it the same. Uh, yeah. But like I type in Mikey G Fitness and like my name will pop up. I just typed in Mikey Malone. Malone. Yeah, but I'm sure a lot of videos came up. <laughs> well, yeah, but like two channels come up, like they're all one and you know one. Yeah. And then I already know it's one of zero. Yeah. And then, um... I made a Instagram though last night. Just for the fitness? Yeah, well, I agree fitness. Did you? Yeah. I'll, do, I'll do follow that. I'll put like your link in your Instagram in the description box. Yeah, I uh, I put you as the uh, the featured channel. Feature channel? Oh yeah, I'll do. I have to do that too. Yeah. That, so, yeah. I'll drop. Send. Like, Will Rodriguez Fitness. Well, just Will Rodriguez. I have to figure out exactly how I want to do it. Um, Cause I want to do like. Cause you can't do a custom URL. 
Yeah, I used to be able to because my old account, like it was www.youtube forward slash Mikey G Fitness. Yeah. But I tried to do it with this channel and it won't let me do it. Yeah, because now, now you need 500 subscribers. Really? To do it. Fuck. <laughs> I guess that they don't want random people just making URLs. You, you know, suck, URLs. YouTube. <laughs> I guess they don't want random people making URLs, you know? For no reason. Yeah, but I like, when you go to like do your like monetization thing for like YouTube, like they, they give it to you right away. Yeah. Like within a week, they were like, okay, here you go. You can put ads over your videos so you can get paid. Yeah, and I did, and I verified the account, so it's already, um, I can post over 10 minutes, whatever it is. Yeah, it's like over 15 minutes or yeah. something. Yeah, you're good standing, mine is station, I'll finish it. I just, all they did was send me a text, put the code in. Yeah. That's all it is. But, um, yeah, the custom URL, that's what I really want. That's what, that's I, really what I want to, yeah. It's, it's easy to tell people what your YouTube is. Yeah, now it's like, all. oh, yeah, let me. But I have it linked in my in my uh, Instagram account. Yeah, one thing I might do, I might make a Facebook just for the fitness, and it's, now I'll be like, okay, just go to Facebook.com/slash this, and then the YouTube link is right there. Yeah. I might just do that. That's a good idea. I should do that too. Because give people another option. I can write a Facebook to those type of do it that way. Yeah, you can put it in your in your Instagram bio too. That way, like if you're on Instagram posting pictures, yeah, like watch my latest video link in bio. Yeah. No, okay. need, um, I need to get my uh, what's it called? Uh, the still frame of the video. Still frame. Like the, the, the picture you see. Oh, what the um, the thumbnail. Thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> Got it, guys. Yeah, but we need to get in the picture just like. Yeah. I'm just gonna record real quick and then I'll just pause it. Don't Let's do it. Alright, so uh, moving on to some leg curls now. Uh, this is one of the exercises that I do after my primary lift, whether it's squat uh, or deadlift. Um, I would normally have done leg press or a pack squat, but uh, I really wasn't feeling all that well this given day. Uh, another thing that could have uh, fucked up everything on my deadlift session because that was just horrible. Was one of the, the toughest sessions I've had yet running this uh, over 75 free. Uh, this is another cool machine that uh, Alpha Fitness has, the uh, Donkey Cap Raise. Uh, definitely like that better than the Standing Cap Raise, which is to the right of me. And uh, they also have a seated Cap Raise, which uh, sometimes I like to do that one as well. But uh, fucking Donkey Cap Raises. Yeah. Fucking love that thing. Um, um, in this next clip, you see me do uh, hanging leg raises, one of my favorite ab exercises uh, of all time. Love it, absolutely my favorite. Either this or cable crunches. And I usually do uh, two to three sets of ten, and then call it a day. And I don't always do abs. It's, you know, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll do it. Uh, and if I do, it's usually on a leg day. <laughs> sets of three sumo deads fucking hard hard workout oh look at that we parked right next to each other too i didn't even realize that i'm gonna go home eat some food maybe even take a nap we got up early as fuck today did you wow strong lighting yeah we got up early as hell today to do uh to do this workout and um to tell you the truth it was kind of hard uh I may not even up my training max for the the next week. So after I finish this week off, deload, it's going to be about 65% of our training maxes. And then Will's going to max out, find his true maxes. I'm going to keep my deadlift the same. I'm going to add probably 20 pounds to my squat and then a possible 10 to 20 pounds to my bench. 